Uh, today I finished cutting up the last of the white blocks. Well, not the last of them, but the last of the ones I needed. Uh, I just like a lot of little pieces, you know. When faced with an uncarved block, what is there to do but to carve it? I did keep a little stash over here in case I miscounted or miscalculated how many I'm going to need. Hopefully I have enough without having to set the saw back up again. This is my table saw. It's actually not a table saw when it leaves the store. It's a, uh, I don't know if I can get this in here or not. It's a nine inch skill saw. You know, tip it upside down, make a few modifications here and there, and uh, it's a table saw. What's this saying? For all intents and purposes. These are my little bonus pieces. I need to cut them a little bit smaller. But the main block that I'm using is this size right here. And they, I get uh, I get eight of those out of each block, which is the break-even size, which is to say one block is 16 baht and eight of those are two baht a piece. Uh, yes, it's true. I probably just could have used the uh, the whole full blocks and dealt with that, and you know. But if one block is fun, then if you cut into eight pieces, it's theoretically eight times as much fun. And I'm using three different size blocks. The main ones that I eight to one are these guys. And then this wall from here on up, which is the wainscoting down there, this is this, the secondary size, the, the B block, and uh, and then the C block, which is only, well, let's see, it's over here. They, they're all sorted. They're, they're, they're about three quarters of an inch in diameter, and they will be put up there in a herringbone size. Another reason for uh, well, the primary reason is because I really like doing this stuff, but the, another reason for cutting them into small pieces is I like the way they look. And then I have a little more flexibility. I get to do these octagonal bends, and, um, you know, they say, man's home is his castle. I guess I was influenced by some of those Errol Flynn movies, and I like it to look like a castle. Also, I'm kind of practicing for, this is a prototype idea I wanted to run through in a well, less stressful environment or less of an environment that will be stressed because I'm planning on making a four-story uh, octagonal tower and I want to see how this worked out. So here's a better shot of the saw since I'm breaking this thing down with confidence. Some of you may say, whoa, that's cute, but you know, probably not possible to do anything accurately with such a setup to which I say well let's just see here's a block any block let's just take this block oh any light there I don't see any light how about this way Oh gee, I don't see it. Well, maybe that's just a fluke. Maybe that's just an accident. Oh, maybe Sammy got lucky. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, I don't know. I like that old saying. Luck favors the prepared. Yeah, I'm uh, as the saying goes, I can live with that. 